how to create a campaign in Aweber. Hey everyone, uh, Sia here and thank you for tuning in. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create an email campaign inside your Aweber. All right, go ahead and log in into your Aweber. If you haven't had any, if you don't have any account, uh, make sure that you watch the video that I've done uh, about a week ago on create, how to create a free account on Aweber. You can find the link on top, tap on that and watch that first. But assuming that you have already seen that, uh, let's go ahead and continue with this video. All right, let's begin with, so once you're logged in, this is your page and where you want to go in order to open up the, uh, create actually a campaign, you go to subscriber, uh, sorry, you go to messages on top. You want to click on the campaigns, click on campaigns. So by default, once you, cre uh, once you actually uh, first you create your account for the first time uh, you will get this uh, free template welcome campaign from the Aweber uh, that you can actually play with but in this video because I want to show you how you can actually create one for yourself from scratch we're gonna go we're gonna just ignore this one and create one for ourselves all right so you see this <clears throat> uh, green button in here it says uh, create a campaign so just go ahead and click on that so as you can see, there are a couple of different options that you have. So you can uh, create a blank campaign, you can import a campaign. So this is actually useful if you are using someone else's affiliate uh, product and they provide you with a campaign. So basically what it is, is most of the time it's just they give you a link or something uh, and you can actually dump it there. Or you can actually use the free templates that Aweber provides you. Like for example, they have welcome series, they have the lead magnet version, blogger series, mini courses. In the, for the purpose of this video, because uh, I'm not uh, going to assume that you want to do specifically just the welcome series, I'm going to show you how you can create it from scratch. So go ahead and click on the create a blank campaign. So it asks you to give it a name. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, give it like a, a name, my own name. Like let's say, mm, let's say I'm selling a product I call Entra ebook or actually Entra coaching program. And this is going to be my campaign. I click on create, give it some time. So it asks you two questions. Uh, uh, one question is like, sorry, <laughs> it asks you one question, but uh, well, uh, how do you want this campaign to get triggered? So what it means is basically, do you want to, as soon as someone subscribes to your list, they go through the campaign. Most of the time, this is the cho This is the one. This is the option that you want to choose, specifically when it's a uh, welcome campaign. So basically, as soon as someone sign up to your list, you want to send them through your welcome campaign, uh, which you actually tell them, uh, uh, pretty much uh, thanks them for joining your email list and tell them what they're gonna get uh, as a benefit of being on your list. What type of things you're gonna provide them? Educational uh, training. Uh, products that you want to mention to them uh, all of those kind of things also maybe a little bit of background about yourself and your business basically that's what we do inside the welcome campaign and by the way if you would like to know more about how you can actually do the welcome campaign or messaging inside that uh, I can do a video for that as well just make sure that you write that in the comment section that you want to know more about that and I'm more than happy to add that inside another episode too uh, and then the other option is uh, tag upload. So what happened is basically you, you can, you, you're able, this is a little bit more advanced, so you can actually tag your uh, subscribers. So every single subscribers that you have, you can go and tag them differently. So this means that let's say you, uh, you have, uh, you want to specifically create a campaign for someone that actually click on your specific offer or product, but they didn't buy. So you can actually tag those people those customers with like non-buyers clicker non-buyers or something like that and as soon as that tag applied you can actually send them through this campaign which means that you want to maybe ask them well, what why didn't you actually buy what was your concern is there anything that i can help you with uh, or something like that so that is when you use a tag apply uh, in our in our case i'm going to go with unsubscribe click on that as you can see it opens up in here. You can always replace the trigger. So you can always go there and click on that and replace it. Now, 
As you can see, it's pretty much empty. So the first thing that we want to do, we want to add a message. So any of these things that it's uh, on the left hand side, you can actually click and drag. So you drag in here a message. So it means that as soon as they get subscribed, you're gonna send them a message. So how do you update this? You see, it says create a message. Click on that. And the first one is drag and drop email builder. Click on that. It will open up the drop and drag uh, UI user interface for your email. So uh, I'm just gonna do this part quickly because this is basically how you want to like welcome them. So, or like write your email. That's like that. You just click on save and exit down at the bottom. Click on that. And there you go, you have your first message. Now what you want to do, you don't want to like add another message right after that. That means like uh, as soon as they get this first message, they're gonna send, get the other one as well. So you don't want to do that. So technically most of the time what you want to do, you wanna add a wait period. So you put the wait, bring it in here. It says one day, so it depends on how long you want to uh, wait uh, before sending the next uh, email. Uh, I would suggest uh, don't go more than one day because if you go like, if you just send like one or two emails per week, they pretty much gonna like uh, get lost within all the other emails that your uh, subscribers are gonna get. So at, uh, I would suggest at least one one a day. And this, this is, I mean, it, it highly depends on how many subscribers you have on your list. So just start with one day. You can also uh, opt, uh, update it in here. You can have minutes, hours, weeks, and months. You also can have a uh, new set uh, send windows, which is kind of like a advanced feature. I'm not gonna go through that details in this video. You could also apply tags. So for example, uh, let's say we want to wait for one day, add another message and say, let's say this one is like, you can highlight this one and you can put your YouTube link in here, youtube.com, something like that. Your your video link actually. And again, don't forget your signature. And there we go. Save and exit. That is that. Now, I'll, I always suggest to add attack once your campaign is finished let's say this is this is my campaign only you're gonna have like two emails which in theory you're gonna have at least uh five to at least five emails in your campaign i want to apply a tag so what i want to do in this uh you can do a couple of things you can say okay for example they have because uh, let's say this is the name of my campaign on track coaching program and i can say like have gone through Entra coaching program campaign or you can come up with something that is not too verbose like like let's say welcomed and then you can actually say if they have already any other uh, tags or anything you can remove them from here like for example if if you had a tag at the beginning that they've they've just subscribed you can remove that and just add the welcome one that's it so once it's done, just click on save and exit. And make sure the other thing that you want is it's draft. So you want to make it the act active campaign. And now it's running. As you can see, as you, soon as you tap on this one, you see the 0% and 0% click comes up and send to zero subscribers. So as soon as your subscribers start subscribing, Aweber will automatically start sending the emails and you can come back in here and see how your stats are actually how your emails are performing you can see the stats and everything and every time that you want to change your email you can always click on messages and click on the blue subject line and go and update your email that's pretty much it guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and once again please do make sure that you like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel so every time I post a new video you'll get notified also make sure that you tap on that bell icon that's very important and once again, if you have any question, any suggestion or anything that you would like me to make a video of, make sure that you write it down in the comment section. And also please do make sure that you sign up to my mailing list at richmanlife.org. Uh, every, if you sign up, I'll send you a free book at the moment that my partner Jeff Lerner had written for you, Millionaire Shortcut. 
in which that we actually teaches you the fastest way to become a millionaire online and also you will able to get a 30 minutes one-on-one -on -one coaching with me for free that we can talk about what it, what are the benefits that you can get if you join our training on Entra and how we can help you build your legacy and be, become financially free so make sure that you check that out once again thanks for watching and i see you in the next episode bye